Here's how we get our project finished up and ready to export, and then how to send it to me, Mr. Schmidt, in order to get it printed in the Makerspace. So first thing I want to do is give my project a check. Is my file renamed with my name on it? Yep. Okay. That's step one. Step two is to check if all of the parts of my model are grouped together. And I can do that by clicking on it and checking for that blue outline all around my shape. And it looks pretty good. Everything looks grouped as far as I can tell from here. Um, the next thing I want to check is that all of my pieces are actually touching so that the whole thing is connected and can print properly. So to do that, I'm going to zoom in to my shape and I'm going to start moving the camera and taking a look. So right away I see a problem. There's a gap here between the wings and the body of my hamster. Um, before I fix that, let's just check the rest of my design. And I'm just going around slowly and making sure the ears, the eyes, the nose, all the paws, everything is touching and connected <clears throat> in a way that will make it one object. Okay. So to fix this, I'm going to ungroup, or I can also double click to enter the group. And I'm going to just lower the wings until they look like they're touching the body of the hamster. And I want to make sure I have a pretty good connection there so that the wings don't break off when I take this off the printer. The other thing I'm going to do is increase the angle of the wings a little bit so that they don't overhang quite as much so that they might print a little bit easier. So we're going to try this. See if maybe I can bring it down a little bit more. Okay. So that might be good. So now to get out of my group, I'm just going to click off of the object and it should regroup for me automatically. The next thing that I want to check is that the object is not underneath the work plane. So I can tell just by looking at the feet here that there's a little bit of a shadow on them. So I'm going to have to move this guy up. I can either click on him and try to bring it up and down and try to get it to line up perfectly. Or an easier trick is to press the D key on my keyboard which will drop my object onto the work plane. Once that's done and everything is grouped and looks good, I'm ready to export. I'm going to come over here to the export button and I'm going to hit .stl. I'm going to make sure the selected shape is selected as well. STL. So this object file is what we can use for 3D printing. And now that I have that downloaded in my downloads folder, it'll look a little different on your Chromebook, but you should be able to figure out where it went. I'm going to come over to my Gmail. I'm going to write a new email. I'm going to send it to me, Mr. Schmidt, and I'm going to put a subject file to print and attach. So to attach, we use the paperclip button. Yours will look a little bit different again because you're on a Chromebook, um, but I can just come into my downloads, find my file, and say open. Once it's done attaching, I just send my email and you're done.